November 7th remains a memorable day for Uganda because it was then that Uganda sent her first satellite into space. And today, Uganda joins the rest of the world to harvest data from her satellite. Pearl Africa Sat 1 from Uganda. Are you ready? Pearl Sat 1, we are ready. Go! Today, it has been now launched. It is now independent. It's not attached to anything. It's now rotating around the orbit. Other than availing information, the satellite will be used to foresee weather changes and prepare for any calamities. We will start working and receiving this information and then start working out how to synthesize this and uh, create what we call products, information products like weather forecasting information, like uh, the mineral prediction or exploration information, like the agriculture uh, and the uh, environment information. So, Dr. Tamsenero says they are in the process of building more satellites to increase the country's tax base. Uh, the minimum amount of time it will stay there is 18 months, but if it's maintained very well, it will stay for up to five years. But during this next 18 months, we are hoping to launch our next satellite. Experts say data collected from the satellite will be readily available after four months for innovators. Because we don't give the data as we capture it, maybe there may need to be some bit of pre-processing uh, so that we give you what you want. Um, and some of the information may of course be sensitive that you can't just give it out to, to the public. But once that is sorted, we, we hope that that process will be completed in the next three, four months. And then now we can have this data available free to the, the user communities. Now, the user communities in this case are not the end users. It will be the innovators who can use this data to develop products. Mary Namkose, UBC News. Peace out.